What's going on guys? Twitter Alex coming at you with another MLB The Show 18 video. Today we are drafting a team and that team's going to include Immortal Stan Musial of the St. Louis Cardinals. I'm a Cardinals fan. You guys know that so I'm definitely excited to draft him and use this card here in Battle Royale. We're obviously going for 12 and 0 so let's see if we can get 12 or more likes on this video. Subscribe. We're so close to 16,000 subscribers and then comment anything down below. We're going to draft the team and then play the first game with the team and my goal for the game is to not throw the same pitch more than one more, more than one time in a row I don't want to throw the same pitch twice in a row I really feel like I'm just getting into too many patterns and habits my opponents are able to catch on so I want to try and eliminate that and maybe just kind of get to a sense of randomness while I'm pitching I actually don't know if I've used stand the man yet this year I know I have uh, faced him a few times but I've, I don't know if I've used him I haven't used him on my main account or on my, on my second account which we're on right now drafting in the team and I don't know if I've used them on my main account. I've definitely not used them on my second one right here. And uh, I really don't remember. I feel like I would have remembered using them. And I don't think I have. But I really could. Uh, I, I could be wrong about that for sure. Gonna go common starting pitcher right here. Let's see. Let's see. Corey Knievel. Do we want him as our go-to righty out of the pen? Nah, not really. I don't think so. I think Mike Zanino is who we're going to choose here. Let me see if I have any stats with him. So 250 average, 7 for 28, but three dingers. I like power. He's playing down with inside edge, but we're only playing one game today. So it could be different tomorrow. Let's see Eric Lauer. Ooh, second dime around. Okay, Lee Smith. This is a really good card. This is a really, really good card. Jackie or Adam Jones both would probably be solid. I've always kind of, I've done decent with Jackie Robinson cards in the past, but never like amazing. Adam Jones, Adam Jones cards. I don't know why, but I just love them. I, I haven't really used one in uh, in uh, in 18 yet, but in 16 and 17, I did amazing with these types of cards. Adam Jones ones. I don't know why. Oh man, this is tough. I think we're. I'm, I'm honestly gonna go Lee Smith here. I haven't used him, but I've heard really, really good things about this card. So we're going to go Lee Smith, stick with the Cardinals, Diamonds, Immortals theme, and uh, hopefully get a gold lefty. I think I want to go lefty in a round. Um, oh, this is kind of tough. Uh, okay, so do I do Sir Anthony Dominguez and have two decent righties? I think so. I think that would be fine, man. That, that should be fine, right? Oh, Lord. It's, it, it's not really what I normally do, but I, I'm really trying to focus on my pitching here. So we can only draft lefties now. We need three lefties. Josh Donaldson, a Cleveland Indian. He got traded to the Indians, man. I'm not used to it. It's weird. I'm th I, I kind of like Albert Pujols. He's my favorite player of all time. Um, but I suck with his cards in, in the MLB The Show games. At least I have in previous years. So I don't really want to draft him. Trevor Story. Uh, I, I'm not super great with him. Three for 15. Josh Donaldson. Haven't used him yet. So I think we're going to go Josh Donaldson. See how he can do for the team. It is a three diamond draft. Justin Bohr. Let's go. Oh, man. We're 10 for 29. Eight homers. Eight of his 10 hits. 80% of his hits. Home runs. So we got to get Justin Bohr on our team, man. He will definitely be me a leadoff guy. Uh, I just said me leadoff guy. He'll be my leadoff guy. We got James Pazos. Dang, man. Okay, so I'm not getting any more righties in the bullpen. I don't like knuckleballers. I hate facing them. But Phil Necro, this card's so cheesy in Battle Royale, man. Like, e even, if I, even if I took him instead of a lefty, I wouldn't really care just because he's so cheesy and good. A lot of people can't hit knuckleballers, myself sometimes included. But we're going Babe Ruth. I love this card, man. Uh, I absolutely love using this Babe Ruth card, so we will choose him. Get another common starting pitcher. I would love a common round. Let's go. The MLB gods, thank you so much for that common round. Also, um, so, like, we have, like, tiled ceiling in my basement. And uh, this tile, it looks like someone, like, pushed it up. And it wasn't like that yesterday. So, I don't know if someone came down here and touched it or if... I don't know. I don't know, but it's 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 creeping me out, man. Sorry, <laughs> kind of got off track there. Um, we need lefty reliever, so I can't choose him. Out of these guys, we're just gonna choose someone with the most speed. Why not? 72 speed, 76 fielding, not too bad. Um, so we have three lefties and two righties. I probably need another righty hitter. Uh, let's see. I really actually like using Jonathan Scope. Oh wow. <laughs> Three for 16. Maybe I don't like using Jonathan Scope. I, I do like using Adam Jones cards. Look at that. 364. No homers. I don't like that part, but eight for 22. 
We'll go ahead and get Adam Jones. Jonathan Scope playing down with Inside Edge. That should be a good move there. Jed Jerko cards are absolutely amazing in the show as well, bro. I haven't used them on this account. I've used them on my main one, though. And uh, I got to hope that we at least get... So it's going to give us four reliever options. I got to hope in the next two rounds... We have at least one lefty in each round, and, and one of those rounds is hopefully a silver. So we got three lefties to choose from here. Probably going to go to the guy that I like his pitches the most, Donnie Hart. Also looks like he might be a side armor. And it's not a silver round, which kind of sucks. Um, I was really hoping for a silver right there. But we can just go ahead and get Matt Grace. Hopefully he can do fine for us. One silver round, one gold round, and we need to replace shortstop and honestly nothing else man we need we need a new shortstop and then maybe an outfielder for babe ruth if we get somebody that i like so we could put chipper jones at short i like using chipper jones cards hanley ramirez cards i do like using as well um i think i'd rather have a switch hitter here put him at shortstop it, it, it should be fine hanley ramirez i don't really trust him at short with that fielding you know only 37 fielding my fielders have not been too good recently so we'll go chipper jones stick him at shortstop eric yo eric thames i think he was a silver to start out the year so so it changes a little bit what i'm about to say but on my main account with chipper, or with chipper jones with eric thames i was i think 10 for 11 in his first at bats with nine home runs or so it, it was some unreal number like that i have it on twitter I could go dig through my tweets, but it was amazing. He was he was one of those kind of glitchy cheat code type of cards for me where I just I loved using the card and it was just so amazing for me. So we'll get him. Maybe put him in the lineup. We'll have to wait and see though. I, honestly, I would love to have a guy like that as a pinch hitter because there's been so many times where it's like, dang, if, if I have a home run right here, we win the game. And I would love to save a guy like that for that situation. So right now, shortstop or outfielder. None of these guys play shortstop. I'm sure uh, Jed Jerko or Josh Donaldson probably has a shortstop one. Probably, maybe. I don't know. Um, let's see, though. What do I want here? So, Andrew Benintendi, 222. Haven't used, I don't think, any of these. Oh, 316 with Mike Musakis. Yo, 6 for 19. Four of the six hits being home runs. Dog, I'm just going to get Mike Moustakis here. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take it. That should be fine for us, Chris Davis, bro. He's he's another glitchy swing. So we, we literally have, like, so many good guys on this team. I'm going to go ahead and make the lineup, show it to you guys, and we'll get into the first game with this team. I know just a few days ago I said this might be my best hitting lineup I've ever had, but honestly, this one is probably going to give it a run for its money. So I decided to put in Eric Thames in left field instead of Babe Ruth just because uh, Babe, 69 and 77 for his power, Thames, 85 and 83. It is down to 74 with uh or 76 sorry 76 with uh inside edge however like eric thames man just such a glitchy swing for me followed by judd jerko and stan musial immortal stan josh donaldson justin Bourne, mike zanino chipper jones adam jones like adam jones you guys might think oh he's not that great but like i'm batting 364 with him mike zanino a lot of power chipper jones always been good for me justin Bourne, an absolute monster for me eight home runs in his first 10 hits with the team Josh Donaldson and an amazing card. Like, this is such a good team. A lot of guys kill me and hit home runs with Judge Jerko. So, like, this is such a good hitting team. I'm definitely excited to use it. It's it's seriously one of the better lineups that I've had. And I think, honestly, top three lineups I've had, this team's in it. The one I drafted a couple days ago with Immortal Babes in it for sure. I don't know what the third one would be, and I don't know if these would be the top two, but I feel like these two have to be some of the better lineups that I've had in Battle Royale, and I'm definitely excited to use this team. Hopefully start off 1-0 right here. We're playing the New York Hornets. He has Danny Espinosa, 76, 81, Griffey, Miguel, and Duhar. I think he's been having a really good year for the Yankees. Correct me if I'm wrong. 93, Eddie Matthews, who lost us my last Battle Royale run. I hate him. 88, Mike Piazza, 83, Johnny Damon, Travis Shaw, Mayor of Ding Dong City, Marcus Semien, Anthony Bandana on the mound. We got Eric Lauer on the mound away team. I'm really hoping an Anthony Bandana uh, is a righty for Mr. Eric Thames leading off. Let's get this dub, baby. Dang it, man. Okay, so two things. One, I always seem to, if I lose a game in Battle Royale, it seems like, you know, half of the time it's at Wrigley Field. I don't know why, but I suck here at Wrigley. And then number two, he has a lefty on the mound for Eric Thames. Eric Thames does kill lefties, but I find that I really do a lot worse lefty on lefty than I do, say, righty on righty. So hopefully it's not an issue for us. Hopefully we can get a homer to lead off the game. I was I, I was hoping that would be it right there. 
Jed Jerko, no doubt about it. So Eric Thames, obviously, you guys didn't see it. He didn't hit a home run. Uh, we might, we, we may or may not have struck out with him, but Jed Jerko hitting it out of Wrigley Field, 390 feet. Immortal stand, the man. Okay, kick. Okay, our opponent has quit. I'll take it. Um. Don't hate me, okay? <laughs> uh, you know what? No, 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 no. I was going to say we're not going to get another. We're going to get another game. There's no point in not, man. We literally have. We, we, there, there's no point in me not doing another game. I was, I was about to be like, don't hate me. That's the only game in this video. Nah, man. Nah, man. We're getting another game in this video for you guys. Immortal Cal, man. Why does it? I, I swear. <laughs> Nine out of ten times if someone drafts a team, it seems like they're getting an immortal, which makes sense because it, it, it would not be fair sometimes, you know, to face an immortal, but you not have one. 85 Chase Headley, Jenny Martinez, Scooter, Jeanette, Matt Kemp, Kurt Suzuki, Carlos Santana, Jose Bautista, Scooter Gonzalez. On the mound, we got Wasu and Lanciaga on the mound. Home team looking for win number two. Bro, immortal Cal. Okay. Um, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't remember. I, I, <laughs> Did I have good release, like, timing on that? I, I, dude, I suck at pitching. You know, there's no, there's nothing more to it. Also, I've been getting, I've gotten comments like this forever, for years. Uh, probably, like, over a year, and I've been getting comments like this. People tell me, oh, you should do a mound visit before you bring someone in. If I do a mound, I, so I did a mound visit during the first at-bat, and, and now they're kind of warmed up over there. If I do another mound visit, that doesn't change, because it's the second mound visit of the inning. It, it won't put them to full energy. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I'll just, I'll just show you guys. See, look at this. Yeah, second mound visit. Energy didn't change. Maybe it went up a little bit. I don't think so. I like waiting for my relievers to be full on warm before I bring them in. And uh, so usually I'll leave my common starting pitcher in for two batters if I can. And uh, I, I get comments, not all the time, but I sometimes I'll get comments saying you should have done a mound visit. And I, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that doesn't it, I, I already I I always do one at the beginning, but then uh, doing a second one and it, it doesn't do anything right there. I I don't I don't understand that. Um, help me out in the comments, maybe. I, am I not standing where I'm supposed to if I want to if I want to get a running start? Because I I. I, I feel like that blue line, that's what that's for, but sometimes that will happen where even if I seem to go to the blue line, maybe I'm not standing exactly where I should be or exactly on it or something. Uh, but sometimes when I am uh, on that blue line, that happens and it doesn't do the running forward and it almost makes me commit an error. And I'm just, I'm really not sure why that happens. So if you guys know, I, I would love to, to, to be explained to why sometimes that does happen. Um, just because it, it can be sort of annoying. And he hits Eric Thames. Wow. I don't think it was on purpose because uh, it was like a one and one count or something before that. So I don't think it was on purpose. Just maybe ran a fastball in there or something, trying to get it inside. Jed Jerko looking for another home run here in this BR. Oh, you guys, you, we, we talked about it during the draft, man. I'm not a fan of knuckleball pitchers. Oh, and he has Phil Necro. What, like, that's the, it's not fair. The ball's literally going. Whoop! It just dips into the zone. It's not fair. Oh man! I, you guys, oh lord! If you used to watch the streams, you probably know this, but I, I, I can't stand knuckleballers. I, I hate them. I don't know. I don't know why. Some people do really good against him. Not me. I, I hate facing them. I really just hate knuckleballers, man. All right, two and zero to Immortal Stamp Usual. Here we go. Let's hit a dinger. Three and zero. I really, I, I want to pitch. I, I, I might swing at this pitch no matter where it is because I, I want a hittable pitch. I want a home run. Stand the man, Musial. Let's go. No doubt about it. Oh my goodness. I hate no ballers still. That does, it doesn't change anything that I hit a home run. Oh, wait, wait. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, we literally, we, we made perfect contact on it. Sorry. Uh, we made perfect contact on that ball. Good timing, good contact. Middle of the PCI was the ball. So, I still hate Noka Ballers, but we, we were able to square one up. Hit a dinger with Stan the Man. Now we're six downs away, baby. No, dang it, man. Two down in the second inning. This guy has is batting 1,000 with whoever that was. I think he has two hits with him, but still. Uh, Carlos Santana, he's batting, a, he's batting 1,000 with two for two. Jose Bautista coming up. I think I did in the first inning throw. 
the same pitch back to back. It's not a huge deal. Um, but I'm, I'm still really trying to not throw the same pitch twice in a row. And so far, it's working. It's only one game, though. You know, I'm going to have to try it out maybe this whole BR and, uh, and see how it goes for me. Dang, Cal Ripken, man. I, I mean, I kind of had the same thing happening with me when I was using Cal. No matter where the pitch was, as long as I at least made contact to put it in play, it seemed like I was just getting base hit after base hit. I mean, this one, is it's not its not like a lot below the zone or anything, but slider away, Cal's able to pull it up the middle for a base hit. Pretty nice piece of hitting from him. And uh, one runner on, the tying run on for our opponent here with one down in the top of the third inning. I think it's time for Lee Smith to come out of the game. I was really enjoying using him, honestly. I was really enjoying using him. But uh, he was getting a little tired, and I think it's probably the right move to take him out. So I've gotten two strikeouts with a high and in Oh, man. I didn't look at it right. I've gotten two strikeouts with a high and inside fastball. If he swings at this and fouls it off, okay, we won. Never mind. It doesn't even come to that. We're winning the game. We're 2-0. Oh. We're 10 wins away. From 12-0 uh, from with this team, one of the best, if not the best hitting team that I've had. Stan the man, go Cardinals, hitting the only home run of the game, winning us the game, one to not the man, definitely the MVP of that one, obviously got player of the game right there, was my, actually was my only hit of the game, and uh, that's what won us the game. So, this could be the 12-0 team, I got a good feeling about this team, however, I got to pitch well, man. I've been losing games recently because I can't pitch, and we just got to gotta keep this pitching up. We gave up a few base hits, but I really felt I felt good about my pitching. So uh, I, th I think we just got to keep that up. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.